What's up people? This is Jasam Fitness. Welcome again. And this is a uh, and this is my first ever topic that I'm going to do with you all of you. So, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to make sure this I'm going to make sure that this goes quick for you and you have the enjoyment of it and you have the main understanding of it. So, let's get right into this and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And also make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my content and also put the notifications on so that you can get my content so that anytime when I create new content you'll be the first to know. And this topic and this topic is how you can keep fit while you are fast while you are fasting during Ramadan. And it's not just for boys, it's also for girls as well. So these are tips on how you can keep fit while fasting during the month of Ramadan whether you're going to the gym to work out or you're going to do a home workout so let's begin to most yeah so to most of you so to most of you muslims that are fasting during the month of Ramadan most of you will want to keep fit you want to still do your gym time your workout time but the thing is some of you are going to say that oh you can't do it because it's hard because we can't you can't eat anything or you can't drink anything during the day while you are fasting and at the same time when you're working out it's difficult well i can tell you that that's wrong there, there are ways that you can work around that and let's just start let's go to let's start with the gym side and then after i finish with the gym side then i can do the home workout side if you're going to be working out at the gym during Ramadan, what during the time of Ramadan while you're fasting, my advice is to you. My advice to you is to work out for for 30 or 40 minutes. My advice is to, for you to have your workout time during your workout time pace during 30 and 40 minutes. So you have to make sure that you work out for 30, 40 minutes, not an hour and not an hour and a half because you'll be overdoing it you'll be dehydrated and which will lead you to go for water so let me show so let me tell you how you can start this while you whilst you are looking to begin your workout at the gym while you're fasting during the time of ramadan i suggest you to go on those machines those like good those bikes or the machines that works on your stamina don't go on the treadmill don't go on the treadmill because the treadmill is going to make you dehydrated whilst you are running on it. If you want to go on a treadmill, you can, but I suggest you do a slow walk on a treadmill like 6.6 or 7.0, but don't do the jog pace like where you're running. I suggest you don't do that because it's going to lead you to be dehydrated. But if you think that going on the treadmill is going to make you dehydrated, I suggest you go on one of those machines like similar to a bike or where you are pedaling and you're holding it to work on your stamina. That's, yeah, so I suggest you go on those machines. Those, that's a good, yeah, those machines are like a good way for you to start your workout. Like, how, yeah, those are, yeah, it's a good way to start warming you up whilst you are beginning your workout. So I suggest that you start on those machines to begin your stamina. It's a good way to warm up before you work and go to the other workouts. The other, but don't do it too long. I suggest you do it for like five minutes, 10 minutes until you get the workout feeling. So that's the treadmill part. I suggest you not to use the treadmill because it's gonna make you dehydrate. So if you're gonna use the treadmill, I suggest that you do a walking pace like 6.6 .6 or 5.5. But my main aim, but for but for me, I'll tell you to just go on those machines like similar to a bike to use for, to work on your stamina, to use as a stamina for like to warm up before you start on your other exercises, your other workouts at the gym. Okay, after you've done that. Also, you can go on the other machines, like you can do your usual workout as you usually do. Whether it be, whether you're working on your biceps, you're working on your shoulders, whether you're working on your biceps, which are your arms, your shoulders, or your chest, or your stomach, or your legs, 
do the workout, do, do the workout that you usually do, do your workouts as you usually do, but just not for too long. Remember that you want to keep your workout within 30 to 40 minutes. So use five minutes or 10 minutes for each workout. Actually, use five minutes or 10 minutes to each for each of your workout so that once you've got the feeling of your workout and you're starting to sweat go to your next one but remember try not to overdo it because you're gonna dehydrate and also it's gonna make you feel the, have a thirst for water so do the workouts you usually do at the gym working on your chest body but don't do it all at once use one day for your chest and your stomach Use another day for your shoulders and your biceps and use another day for your legs and your back. Don't do it all at once. Use each day. And remember, your work you're got you're to work out three to four times a week at the gym. Three to four times a week. So use each day to work on each body part. I suggest use each day to work on two parts of your body parts. Don't do it all at once. Trust me, it's not worth it. And remember, because it's Ramadan, you're fasting, you should, you only have 40 to 30 minutes to work out. So use each time to do that workout. So that's all I can tell you. Make sure to do all that. Do your usual workout, but remember, you're working out within 30 to 40 minutes. After, once 30 minutes has passed, I suggest you finish up have, yeah, I suggest you finish up, clean yourself up, clean yourself up after you finish from your work at the gym and get yourself ready to go home so that you can break your fast after iftar and whatever. So basically make sure that you work within 30 to 40 minutes. Make So basically make sure you watch the time you work out. Either you have a watch on you or you have a phone on you that you can use for time and sometimes they'll have a clock there that, that will be at the gym. Make sure to watch the time at the gym so make sure so remember you're working out within 30 to 40 minutes don't overdo your workout because you are fasting and remember this is only for a month once Ramadan is over you can go back to doing your actual workout routine which is an hour or an hour and a half or whatever way you do it so that's so that's what I suggest for you to do so so that's what I suggest to you for you to do that's my advice.